To write the name for SNCl2, we need to recognize that we have a metal and then nonmetals here. So a metal bonded to nonmetals, that's going to be an ionic compound. And specifically, we have a transition metal. So with a metal, nonmetal, we have these ionic compounds with a transition metal. We use these rules to write the name for SNCl2. First, we write the name for the metal. That's the SN, which is tin. Then we're going to write the name for the nonmetal, chlorine. But we're going to replace the ending for this nonmetal here with IDE. So at this point, we have the name of tin chloride for SNCl2. But remember, tin, that's a transition metal. So since tin is a transition metal, it can have a different charge depending on what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to this chlorine, these two chlorine atoms. Chlorine, each one, has an ionic charge of 1 minus when it forms chemical bonds here. Two chlorines, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. The tin has to be 2 plus for this to all add up to 0, have a net charge of 0. So we're going to write a Roman numeral 2 in parentheses to reflect this 2 plus ionic charge on the tin. That makes the name for SNCl2 tin 2 chloride. If you were given this name, you'd know that tin has a charge of 2 plus because of the Roman numeral 2. Then because chlorine always has a 1 minus ionic charge, you'd know it has to be SNCl2 so the charge would balance out. This is Dr. B with the name for tin 2 chloride, SNCl2. Thanks for watching.